Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Just got this one in, just parked it myself. Today we're going to look at a very nice and clean 2006 Winnebago Sightseer. The model number is a 29R. It's less than 30 feet long, bumper to bumper, 29 feet 9 inches to be exact. Two slide outs, 53,000 miles, and folks, let me tell you something, it's all original. I've got everything on. I've got the generator, the air, the fridge. Everything so far that I've touched works perfectly. Just came in. We haven't even washed the bugs off of it yet. Just drove it 500 miles in here. It was a new RV trade-in. You got two slide outs, both with awning toppers. And of course, this is a Winnebago product, folks. So you got superior Winnebago craftsmanship. I own one myself. Uh, Winnebago is the only brand that builds 80% of their own parts in-house. So down the road, if you need a compartment door for it, a cabinet door or anything like that, they're going to have it in stock. If not, they can build it. And they stock parts all the way back to 1968 models. No other manufacturer do that. Everybody else, uh, everybody else buys aftermarket parts, puts them together, but Winnebago actually builds motorhomes, parts, and everything. So you get superior that's something nobody else can do. You get some pretty neat features. You've got their store and more uh, slide out system where all the full trays come out with the slide out. You've got uh, Winnebago was the first manufacturer to build all their frames in house. So in other words, the frame for this sightseer is not the same, is not going to be the same frame that you see on a Coachman Murata or a, uh, a Fleetwood Discovery or a Fleetwood Bounder. This, this frame was built by Winnebago strictly for the Winnebago Sightseer 29R. What does that mean to you folks? It means you've got a nice rigid chassis, everything fits great, fit and finish is perfect, and a um, lot better quality built because it's made and designed for this motorhome. No delamination folks. Now it is an 05, it does have some faded stripes in it. I'm telling you about that because folks, nice as this thing is it's still 14 years old I mean I'm not going to say I never say one's like new uh, it's got late 2012 Michelin tires they look almost brand new probably don't have but just a few thousand miles on them those are usually good for 10 years or more so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about tires for a long time uh, you know on average RV tires are supposed to last for 10 years Michelin's in good years if you take care of them they'll usually last you 12 years as a rule of thumb. Of course, they cost a lot more than than your average tire, too. 4KW on-end generator runs perfectly. Uh, 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Uh, th folks, I did check the factory brochure. It's built on a Ford chassis. It's got the 6.8 liter Triton V10. And guess what? It's got the big V10. The, the, this is the first year it came out. Instead of 305 horsepower, it's got 362 horsepower. This thing will get up and go, folks. Uh, good basement storage in it, power step, got an outside radio, awning. You know, another thing that Winnebago is known for is their uh, world famous roof system, and it's a fiberglass crowned roof. So you don't have to worry about doing the amount of maintenance like you do on a rubber roof. You still have maintenance to do, yearly maintenance, no matter what your roof's made of. But. Uh, with the Winnebago, you're talking 20 minutes a year maintenance versus five or six hours maintenance with a rubber roof. So definitely, uh, if you need information about that, we can tell you about the, what kind of maintenance is required. 29R, perfect for state parks, older campgrounds, and it does have hydraulic leveling jacks, so leveling it up is a breeze. Let's take a look inside this Winnebago site so you all the carpets original, posters original, you can see the steps work great. We haven't cleaned this camper folks, or this motor home, it just came in. Got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. You can see that crowned roof, and let me tell you something folks, Winnebago's roof system, unlike any other, the way they build it. And if you don't believe me, next time you go shopping somewhere, whether it's here or somebody else, or somewhere else, do the punch test on the roof system inside the RV you're looking at. In other words, hit the roof as hard as you can. I know this sounds crazy, but this is basically like punching a brick wall with a carpet headliner. 
Now, other brands, when you do that, you're going to hear things squeak, rattle. You're going to see light lenses pop off the lights sometimes. But this thing has hardly any vibrations, and it does not. I mean, you can tell it's a solid build. And, you know, that's why Winnebago, that's just one of the many reasons why Winnebago has been around for as long as they have. You're talking about the name that's synonymous with any Class A motorhome. Not as much today, but used to. Everybody, uh, Winnebago was a slang term for Class A motorhomes. It didn't matter what your brand was. It, you called it, you had a Winnebago. But this has got a great floor plan for a small Class A. 30 foot's relatively small, folks, under 30 feet. I mean, you got to realize a, a full-size F-150 pickup truck's over 21 foot long. And this is only a few feet longer, and it's got a kitchen, a bathroom, a queen bedroom in the back, and more. So it's definitely... Uh, uh, a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat rig. We'll start here in the cab. The dash air is ice cold. Got serious equipped radio. Fifty-three thousand and forty-seven miles. That's it. It does have the hydraulic leveler jacks, uh, the level best. It does have uh, heated power mirrors. The seats, the carpets, all original. Doesn't need to be changed. No signs of leak damage anywhere. Dash looks great windshields look great the backup camera of course i know it's jumpy on the screen that's because the refresh rate between my hd camera and that crt monitor doesn't interchange so it looks like it's it's doing that but folks rest assured in person you've got a clear picture black and white picture and it does not flicker does not move so rca tv original tv so it fits the hole perfectly uh, of course winnebago builds your own cabinets you got a TV, uh, VCR, DVD player, changeover, so you can watch it. Like, say you put a DVD in here, you can watch it on the back TV without having to have a separate DVD player. Looks like it's got satellite prepped. Got the Ford torque shift transmission, which is a uh, four-speed with overdrive, a five-speed transmission automatic. You've got a sleeper sofa that makes a bed. You've got a table that makes a separate bed with just enough room to walk in between them and separate them. So you can sleep six people in this in this small motor home. You've actually got some pretty nice upgrades. It's got the upgrade grill to confection microwave confection oven. So this is actually, you can bake in this as well as microwave something. And then you've got your gas oven and gas stove top too, like in most RVs. Normally in smaller motor homes, you either get a regular microwave and an oven, or you get no oven and, a, and this microwave confection oven combo. Very rare you see both of them. Uh, sink, uh, food prep area, looks great. You know, Winnebago's got their own patent glaze that they put on top of these cabinets. And if you've ever looked at older Winnebago's, I'm talking about from the 1970s, they use that same glaze. And the motor and the cabinets looks just as good as this 2006 model because of that. It really protects them. Uh, you do have a Norcold refrigerator freezer. It's already getting cold. 15,000 BTU uh, Comfort Select by Coleman. Ducted roof air that's ice cold. Uh, water heaters, gas or electric, 461.8 hours on the generator. So plenty of life left there. You got a split bathroom. Uh, of course, this is just a removable rod to hang more clothes on if you need to, but it's got the full plastic wall surround, skylight, no signs of leaks or leak damage. You've got a water closet right across from it, and you can open that door up to give you a privacy barrier. And in here, of course, you've got your RV toilet. You've got uh, plenty of storage space, sink and all that. You know, this is, I know that the Sightseer is the entry model for Winnebago, but you still get all the Winnebago construction benefits, the fiberglass roof, the in-house frame. You get the, um, the true level tank sensors, which is a patent on that. Other brands use tank sensors in your holding tanks that are inside the tank to detect the levels. Bad thing is if they get a piece of toilet paper or debris stuck on it and it dries up, it's going to show full even when it's empty. Winnebago actually has a patent on the tank sensors where they go outside the tank but still give you an accurate tank level and you never have to worry about something getting stuck on a sensor. Um, 
And you got, of course, you know, every, Winnebago's, the wet bay for Winnebago's got all your uh, sewer and water hookups in one convenient bay. Uh, they call this at a glance for all your major systems are right here in one spot. So you don't have to go over here to turn your water pump on, then go to the back to turn your water heater on, then go up front to crank your generator and put your slide out room in. Everything's right here in one spot. Uh, back bedroom, and this is really cool because this is a big bedroom for a 30-foot motorhome. Queen Island East-West bed, and this is a full 60 by 80 queen, not, not a camper queen. Got a little makeup get ready area, got a little chair that pops out right there and a, and a mirror. You've got a large closet in the back for all your hanging needs, and it's got a TV back here as well. And only bad thing, every, every 29 hour I get into, I do that. You rub against the switch on the wall, cut your bedroom light off. But you've got a TV VCR, which I know is outdated, but hey, it's there. And you got a, a digital converter box too, so you can watch antenna TV. You know, the carpet's all rich, no upholstery. You've still got the factory bed spread. And this is just how it came in, folks. I haven't done a thing to it besides crank it up. Put the rooms out, put the uh, generator on, and turn the air on. I mean, it's this is a nice rig. It's been well taken care of. Folks, uh, this unit, this 2006 Sightseer 29R, with a 90-day nationwide limited warranty checked out, ready to go, and, and more, with more benefits than just that, is only $36,900, folks. Bargain price uh, for, for this grade of motorhome in this kind of condition. Um, and this is why I like to see motorhomes. You know, I don't like to see, when I buy a used vehicle, folks, you may be different than me, but I don't want to see one. If I buy a used car, used truck, or used motorhome boat or whatever, I don't want to see it after it's been cleaned up. I don't want to see it after service department's got a hold of it and went through it. I want to see it just how it came in because I want to see how it's been taken care of its whole life. Um, you, know, you, you know, you can polish a turd to look like a new penny. But when that polish wears off, you're still stuck with an old turd. And let me tell you something, folks, that's true. Uh, this is just how it came in, folks. You're seeing it, how it was kept by the previous owner. Obviously, they have taken great care of it. Nothing's torn up on it that I can tell. Um, just besides a little bit of fading on the stripes on the outside, which is absolutely normal for a 14-year-old motorhome. I mean, this is a nice rig, folks. It really is. Uh, generator fires right up. Motor fires right up. No check engine lights. Dash air is cold, which, you know, the two things that really stand out that this has been a well cared for motor home, because I look for signs that many of you may not know to look for. Uh, on the outside, it's got Michelin tires. Somebody to take a motor home and, put, and spend almost twice as much for Michelin tires mean they care about it. I and mean, if they didn't care about it, they just would have stuck some no-name brand, Chinese brand, or something like that on there. But the fact that they put Michelin tires or Goodyear tires on one tells me that they really cared a lot about their RV. Second thing is <clears throat> you can tell um, the dash air works. Folks, let me tell you something. Dash airs never get used in motorhomes because... 99% of the time you've got generator and roof air on, all that dash air does is take away power from your motor and it actually burns more gas than running a 4KW generator and running the roof air while you're driving down the road. And that is true, folks. I put a pencil to it. Um, so the fact that chances are that that air conditioner has probably had to been fixed because it didn't work and the fact that it's probably something they hardly ever use but they fixed it anyway means they took care of this RV. I've got a 2008 Winnebago I've had for a couple years, folks, or more than a couple years. Dash Air never has worked on it, never will, because I have no reason, no use for it. But, you know, the fact that these people had something they didn't really need, but they paid the money to keep it up anyway, that's another good sign they've taken care of this RV. Uh, plus, a few other little things you look at, folks. You look at the vents. There's no black residue around the vents. Uh, black residue happens when people don't change the filters out or clean them out like you're supposed to on the AC. You get that black residue, and once it stains this carpeted headliner, the only way to take it off is with bleach, and it will bleep a bright white bleach spot around the vent. So if you're in looking at a used RV and you see that black residue or you see that bleached out spots around the, the, uh, the vents, that's what caused it, folks. 
And I look at little things like that, and, and, and I hope that me telling you this will, will kind of give you some ideas what to look for uh, when you're RV shopping as well, whether it's with us or somebody else. I mean, I would prefer you buy from us, but, but you know, I do, wherever you buy from, I, I want to show you tricks to keep you from getting ripped off and to, to buy a decent motorhome, whether it's here or somebody else. Anyway, folks, uh, Winnebago is a brand you really can't go wrong with. I mean, be honest with you, my personal opinion, I would rather take an entry model Winnebago over some other brand's top of the line models just because it's better built. This unit, 36.9, haggle free, firm, non negotiable, includes this low mileage 2006 Sightseer 29R with 53,000 miles. It will, once, it, once it's paid for, it will go into line to go into the shop and get an extensive major systems checkout by our trained and certified RV techs. And if you want a copy of our checkout list and everything that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay, contact your sales department and they'll go over it with you, send you a copy of it. Um, basically what we're going to do is, is run it through the ringer, make sure everything on that list works. If something doesn't work, we're going to repair it, replace it at no additional cost to you. So. If we wind up spending a few thousand dollars on one checking it out, we're not going to go up on the price that we agreed on. The, like on this one right here, it's 36 dollars no matter what it costs to have everything functioning perfectly that's on our checkout list. The price is 36 dollars It does not go up just because we spent more than we planned on. I look for this one to go through that checkout sheet pretty quickly and easily, but you know, then again, you never know. Uh, option A price also includes a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. Includes um, a major. It also includes an, an after the inspection, my service manager will call you to set up an appointment for you to come pick your RV up, and you get a demonstration and walkthrough. RV tech that checked it out is going to spend some time with you, go over everything with you after it's been through service, of course, and, and show you how to operate everything, show you everything works, and. Um, answer any questions you have, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, show you anything he had to repair, if he had to repair anything at all. And you can record them with your phone, camera, however you want to do it. And that's included for that 36 dollars price. And he'll spend quite a bit of time with you folks. Plus you get 21 nights of free camping, um, good at select campgrounds. And this is up to seven nights at a time, absolutely free to you for in a year's time. Um, tremendous positive feedback from everybody that has taken advantage of that. I mean, folks, you're talking 50 to to $100 a night campgrounds. 21 nights, put a pencil to that. That's a lot of money and free camping you're getting. A lot of positive feedback from everybody that stayed at the campgrounds. I stayed at one a few weeks ago when I was on vacation in my motor home uh, in Florida, and um, I liked it. I mean, I, I really liked that particular, motor, that particular campground. I haven't been to the other ones yet. There's several others, but... I'm going to try to make my way around um, and check them out. But hey, it's free folks, whether you use it or not, but hey, if you want to use it, your first year of camping's on us pretty much. Um, that's included, plus you get a drive out tag, you get a starter kit with all your camping essentials and instructional DVDs. All that for $36.9 out the door, plus sell any applicable sales tax. If you've got a question about sales tax and what you have to pay, if you have to pay us sales tax at all contact your sales department they're happy to they're more than happy to explain that to you every state's different so i don't i used to say if you were out of state you'd pay your own sales tax but uh, there are circumstances that i found out now thanks to the new sales tax laws that's not true uh, in some cases most of the time it is but some cases it's not that's why i like to tell everybody to um just contact your sales department, tell them where you're from, and they'll they'll give you accurate information on your sales tax as far as the amount, when and where you have to pay it, whether it's to us or to your county's tag office direct. Um, anyway, folks, it's a nice rig. Um, that's our option A. That's haggle-free, firm, non-negotiable. It doesn't matter to us if you're paying cash. doesn't matter to us if you're financing. doesn't matter to us if you're trading or a combination of all three. The price is 36.9. It's all cash to us. Um, no extra fees. You know, you go to these other dealerships, these other RV lots. 
they're going to heat you up with setup fees and dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, and uh, acquisition fees, corporate fees. I've heard them all, folks, and I get this information directly from people that come in here that have been to other lots. And, uh, and it adds up to sometimes thousands of dollars in fees on top of the sales price. The only thing by law you have to pay on a new or used RV, just like a new or used car truck uh, or, or boat or motorcycle, is the sales price and any applicable sales tax. Anything else is 100% dealer profit, 100% unnecessary. And this whole fee scam thing came up with dealers wanting to be able to advertise lower prices online without having to lose markup. So what they do is they'll advertise at a, a, a halfway decent price online, but when you get there, they add several thousand dollars of 100% profit fees to that to, to get their profit margin back up. So it, it's, a, it's an old scam, but people still fall for it every single day. I, I'm not telling you to do this, but I personally, when I go buy a vehicle from a dealer, whether it's a car truck or a RV, if they try to charge me anything like that, I just get up and walk out. Um, and because uh, I, once I make a deal, that's the deal. I don't believe in nickel and diming anybody. I don't do it to anybody. I don't expect them to do it to me. And we have haggle-free prices and no commission salespeople. You know, we did away with everything everybody hates about buying a used vehicle. And everybody hates haggling. Everybody hates commission salespeople because of the sales pressure, the lies, the games, and the gimmicks. We have salary-based salespeople. They get paid the same whether you buy this motor home or not. Our buyers love it that way. Our salespeople love it that way. They know what they're going to bring home every week. They don't have to worry about having a slow week or a, or a, or having a big week where they got to pay more money in taxes out of commission. They get paid the same every week. They know what they make, and they're happy with it. So that's the way selling should be. I did away with haggling. I did away with fees. I, so basically, folks, this is it. This is why we sell 600 units a year. We're family owned and operated since 1968. That's 50 years in business, folks. That's that's longer than most RV manufacturers have been in business. And third generation, family owned and operated, Parkway RV Center's always been here, always going to be. Uh, we sell almost 600 used units a year. Uh, we don't play around, folks. We price these things to sell quickly. Um, in fact, I think I've done, I've already sold three units this week that I've done videos on. We've already sold. So, you know, people, camper and RV buyers come from all over the country. They're not just local anymore. They get on the internet. This thing's going to be advertised on several different websites. If you're looking at, at the big websites on the internet, you're going to see this unit advertised there. So keep in mind, so will everybody else. Um, you know, we do have option B. Option B is the only way we discount our haggle-free prices. And option B means you buy the motor home just like it sits, as is, where it is, the good with any potential bad, just like you married your spouse, better or worse. Um, no checkout, no inspection, no walkthrough, no demonstration, no warranty, no free camping. It's basically just a basic bare bones deal. You're buying the RV as is just like you buy from for sale by owner you get a you get a, a starter kit instructional dvd and a drive out tag and that's it but you do get a discounted price so the added benefit of that of course is that you get a discounted price off our already low price on exceptionally nice used rv and you get to take it home the same day you pay for it so we're option a after you pay for it, it takes us right as of right now about a week, week and a half to get it ready to go for you, um, and get your inspection and walk through and demonstration and all that. And I know 75 to 80 percent of you are going to take option A. I know that, folks. That's fine. It it, it really doesn't matter to us which way you, you do it. There's two types of buyers. There's a buyer that would rather buy something that needs work to save a little money. And there's the buyer that wants one ready to go, worry-free, stress-free. So that's why we have two different options. I'm not saying this motorhome needs work. I'm not asking you to make your decision on which price to pay based on my video or description. You need to do like you do with any used vehicle you buy. Don't take my word for it. Don't take the description or the pictures. That, you know, look, Come look at this RV, folks. You know, I have people that fly in every week to look at RVs and buy one, and they fly back after it's checked out. Or a lot of times people come here from out of town, 
they travel several hundred miles they get here and they decide it doesn't need a, doesn't need a, any any repairs worth mentioning they just take it like it is get the discount drive it home that day I mean it's it's easy to do folks and what I'm basically what I'm saying is I'm inviting you and your family to come to our RV dealership meet us shake our hands let us show you around look at our inventory meet our employees look at the kind of people you're doing business with because there's nothing like face-to-face -face, handshake to handshake way of doing business It's old-fashioned but it works folks we want you to see what kind of place we built up we're proud of it we're proud of our inventory we're proud of the fact that we can sell these uh, RVs for the price that we sell them for and it we're proud of the fact that people because our prices are so low travel from all over the United States to buy from us we're proud of that too folks so come out and meet us and I and I certainly appreciate the people that trust us enough you know we sell about 175 to 200 units a year to people we never even meet and they don't know what they bought they pay for it they get it checked out they get it delivered to their drive they pay for delivery to their driveway they don't know what they bought until it pulls up their driveway we certainly appreciate the trust that you people give us that do that but we do prefer handshake to handshake we prefer to meet who we do business with just as much as you would want to meet who you do business with so give us a call let us know you're coming uh, give us 24 hours notice we'll run the generator run power to it have the air on have the fridge on have everything cooled off for you so you can do your own inspection you can test drive it and then decide if you want to do option A or B on the price if you want to price on option B haggle free firm non-negotiable price call our sales department 706-965-7929 check out our website parkwayrvcenter.com financing available with approved credit minimum 10 percent down payment and also nationwide deliveries available so no commission salespeople, no games gimmicks trouble drama come check us out folks you'll be glad you did chances are you'll be driving home with an rv uh, hope to see you soon in beautiful ringgold georgia